Hey all my Crimsonites and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel where we embrace our femininity, increase our womanly values, and celebrate our brothers. So join me on our feminine journey to learn, heal, and grow. Hey there, my Crimson Knights, and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel. I'm your host, Femininity Coach and author of the Crimson Cure, and this is my perspective. So what we're talking about today, and this one might actually be um, a quick one, is this. Black women don't want to rest in their femininity. That's a lie. For the vast majority of black women who are always complaining about the failings of black men and why they have to be the ones to be masculine because black men by and large are not masculine enough. They are too effeminate. They are subpar as men on many levels, unable to sufficiently give a woman four Ps, the provision problem solving, the protection, and the procreation in a proper fashion. Um, black women don't really want to rest in their femininity. It's just something nice to say. It's something to say as a defense when they're called out about their masculinity. So when black women are called out about being too masculine, they run right into where we would be feminine, except black men, blank, blank, blank. And the blame for black men comes along. And then the recitation of everything wrong with black men begins to begin to be stated and restated and used as the reason and the excuse why black women cannot be feminine. Yet, when given the opportunity to get into relationships with Black men that call for them to go into their femininity, Black women fight that tooth and nail. Now, they do it for many reasons, and not many of those reasons have anything to do with what, whether Black men are good leaders, not good leaders, masculine or not. And the one reason, the one main reason why Black women don't want to rest in a femininity is really because of the way that Black women view femininity. They view it as weak. Why would a Black woman who has been taught from the cradle to her adulthood that she must be strong and that strength comes not from her feminine qualities, but whatever masculine qualities she can acquire. Her strength comes from her ability to deny men. Her strength comes from her ability to get an education or to get a job or to secure some type of financial means for herself. Her strength comes from her very independence and her unwillingness to depend upon or interdepend upon a man in a relationship. If you are a woman who has been taught and told this for since you can remember, why would you then want to rest in an energy that you were also taught was a weak energy, that you were taught was a, the energy of pushover women or abused women or oppressed women? We're taught that submission, vulnerability, listening, cooperation, agreeableness to Black men and um, followership of Black male leadership is something that will nine times out of 10 land us as Black women in an unfavorable position in our lives. If we're taught that that's what femininity does with, to us, why would we want to rest in that? We don't. That's why black women don't want to rest in their femininity. 
because of the way in which we are taught culturally about femininity. If we are taught that being feminine is not our superpower, but our Achilles heel, it's the kryptonite to our Superman, then why would we want to invest in, an, in a relationship that does nothing but surround us with kryptonite? We don't. This is why black women do not do not create, by and large, relationships with masculine black men or masculine men really from anywhere else. But we're focusing on a black relationship. They're not going to enter into it. See, we there are a lot of ingredients to this cake. A lot of it has to do with contempt of black men and not respecting black male authority or black male masculinity. And while all of those things are true, the real issue that black women have with femininity is within themselves, not any representation or misrepresentation of masculinity coming from black men. It's based, It's really how we think of femininity. Because when we think of other women, we know that other women are more feminine than we are on the whole. And we ridicule those women. We talk about, you know, white women. Oh, she just listen to anything. She just do anything her man say. And this is why black men want, this is why we say that's why black men are being passport bros because the other women are just kind of doormats and they're submissive. And, you know, they just do what the men say and we're not going to do that. So therefore, and we say it in a way that expresses that we believe that all of those different women are weak for that and that they're that they are unintelligent and that these women are misguided and that these women are they don't have minds of their own and they don't have a will of their own and they they can't think and they can't function in life without a husband. So therefore, that's why they're submissive because otherwise they are unable to survive. So we take a lot of pride in being able to survive solo dolo, right? And we wear that as a badge of honor. And then when we're called on how dysfunctional it is, then we want to say we rest in our femininity, but we don't because we actually despise femininity we we see it like i said as a weakness it's a it's a sore spot it's a kryptonite it's an achilles heel in 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 black women's belief that's where we going to get the most trouble from if we are amenable and agreeable to our husbands that that's that our husbands are going to automatically take a undue advantage and that they are going to start treating us badly and we're going to be left out in the cold and left with nothing and, you know, just discarded and disrespected. But if we are strong willed, if we are masculine, if we are recalcitrant, if we are um, obstinate and obtuse with the men that they may not like that, but they're going to have to respect it and we're going to keep that shield up in all cases and the men are just going to have to deal with that because we don't trust them and we we don't trust them to lead and more importantly we don't trust us to be women we don't trust ourselves to even know how to be feminine because femininity does take vulnerability it it is a vulnerable position and we are we refuse that we're not going to be vulnerable you're not going to be vulnerable. You're just not, we're not, we're not going to do it. You're not going to do it. Black women aren't going to do it. So there's a lie. There's a big lie when black women say that they don't feel safe to rest in a femininity. It's not the men that they don't feel safe with. It's themselves that they don't feel safe with. Because it actually takes a lot of power to be vulnerable. That is not for the, for the weak being feminine is not for the weak. It's not for the faint of heart. You really are putting yourself in a position with a man to, hand, to, to caretake your heart properly. 
That's what you're doing. And the rampant misandry that black women have creates the contempt which destroys the trust. So she'll never be vulnerable, coupled with the fact that she thinks femininity is a coward's way for a woman. She think it is um, the way of a weak-minded, weak-spirited woman. Woman that doesn't have it all up there. Doesn't want to be validated by men when all that women want is to be validated by men. Even whores get validated by men. Because a whore is validated in her profession by how many men want her in that profession. She's there to be sexually alluring. And if she can't even attract men on the most base level of sexuality and physical attraction, then she's not validated then either. We can talk more on it. But I think this is important to say. Black women don't want to rest in their femininity. So with that being said... I want everybody to jump down in the comment section and let me know what you think about that. Like, share, subscribe to the channel if you have not. Once again, I'm your host, The Crimson Cure, and this was my perspective. Bye-bye, Crimsonites.